It's 2013-220, State of Arkansas versus Crystal Hodge. A petition on July 10th of 2014, a petition to revoke a suspended sentence was, fi was filed alleging failure to report to her supervising officer uh, on May 27th uh, of 2014, failing to pay court fines and costs, failing to pay supervision fees, and changing her residence without uh, permission, uh, and alleging that at the time of the filing petition, her whereabouts were unknown. Uh, those are the allegations contained in the petition. On those allegations, how does she now plead? And she's going to enter a plea of true or guilty percent to the recommendations that Mr. Kincaid is going to make to the court. No, Judge, you're going to recommend that she serve 89 days in jail, failure to uh, report to probation officer, converted to contempt, that her probation be reinstated uh, after the plea of 89 days. Ms. Hodge, you've heard the uh, proposed agreement that the, the, the state has uh, put forward. You've had an opportunity to discuss it with your uh, your counsel. Uh, are you, at this time, how do you plead on, a, on an amended charge of contempt? I'm guilty. Okay. On the contempt of court, uh, you're ending a plea of guilty. Uh, you understand that you have a right to a You'd have a right to a hearing, even on the contempt, you'd have a right to a hearing, and by pleading guilty, you're giving up the right to that hearing. Mm -hmm. At that hearing, you'd have an opportunity to be represented by an attorney and have an opportunity to confront the witnesses who would appear and testify against you, and you'd also have an opportunity to appeal. Do you, you understand that you're giving up those rights when you enter this plea? Yes, sir. Are you entering this plea freely and voluntarily? Yes, sir. Has anybody in any form or fashion forced you into entering this no, plea? No, sir. As you enter this plea, do you uh, acknowledge the truth of the accusation against you? In fact, you you haven't you haven't uh, complied with the requirements of the, yes, the court's order of probation. Yes, sir. All right. Based on those statements, the court's going to find that uh, Ms. Hodge is in contempt of court uh, and will uh, require her to serve 89 days in jail, uh, as, uh, based on a finding of contempt. Uh, Following the, the service of that sentence, she'll be uh, <coughs> subject, she'll return to probation, be subject to all the requirements of probation. You may be excused at this time. She will get credit for time served. She will get credit for time already served. Thank you, Your Honor.